Welcome to the tutorial on Run GNU Plot from Perl Script. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate statistical summary from GNU Plot for datasets using Perl Script. Files containing only outliers for labeling box plot and a GNU Plot graph with multiple box plot with labeled outliers. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS GNU Plot 5.2.6, Perl 5.22, and Gedit 3.18. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with the basics of GNU plot and Perl. For prerequisite GNU plot and Perl tutorials, please visit this site. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract the files. Make a copy and use them while practicing. The link to download Perl is shown here. I have saved the input files on the desktop. Let's open stat1.txt in any text editor. I will open in gedit. Each file consists of three columns. First column is row number. Second column is y data and third column is x data. Let's close the text editor. We will write a script to generate box plots using Perl script. Open a terminal. Change the directory to desktop. Type gedit space stats.pl space ampersand and press enter. Default extension of a Perl file is pl. This opens the stats.pl file in gedit text editor. You may use the text editor of your choice. Let's write a Perl script in the file stats.pl. First line is a header and is essential for a Perl program. It is called a shebang line. Enter commands as seen on the screen. I will use the strict mode here. Use warnings will generate warnings if there are any errors in the program. Note that the commands end with a semicolon. I will also declare the variables that will be used later. The role of each variable will be explained as and when they appear. The at the rate of sign indicates that the variable is an array. Here I am defining an array for the input file list with three input file names. I will add a for each loop to generate statistical summary from GNU plot. Enter the commands as seen on the screen. Define a variable named stat file for a new file name. This file will store the statistical data generated by GNU plot stats command. Next, pipe to GNU plot to run the GNU plot commands. If Perl is not able to access GNU plot, it will give the warning message as seen. Set the name of the output file for statistical summary as seen. Type the stats command to generate the statistical summary. The for each loop runs the stats command for all the input files in GNU plot. Then close the for each loop. Save the file. Minimize gedit. And go back to the terminal. Use the chmod command to change the mode of the script file to executable form. Let's run the script file as seen here. Type ls to list the files that are in the directory. 
Notice that the statistical summary for all three input files are created. The newly created files have dot stat extension. I will clear the screen for clarity. I will open the statistics file stat1.txt.stat in a text editor. Enter the command as seen here. Lower and upper quartile values are used to set the box height in the box plot. Lower and upper quartile values are displayed here. Let's extract these values from the file and find the box plot upper limit. Let's close the text editor. Go back to the script file in the text editor to edit it. Add a for each loop to read the quartiles from the stat file and store the values. Use one more for each loop to extract the quartiles and calculate the box range. Here the inputs are the statistical summary files that were generated. The open command opens the generated stat file. Open the statistical summary file using while loop. Let's delete the new line character at the end of the line with chomp command. Let's split each line by tab delimiter. Store the split data in an array with the push command. Close the while loop. Here we are creating two arrays named as key and value. This line calculates the upper box plot limit used by GNU plot. We are using the values generated in the statistical summary file for this. The upper quartile value is shown in line 22 of the statistical summary file. The lower quartile value is seen in line 20 of the file. Learner must go through their statistical summary files. User must find the relevant line numbers for the quartile range in your file. For example, if you are using GNU plot 5.2.3, the values are generated in line numbers. 19 and 21. Come back to stats.pl file. I will append the value of the upper limit to an array named as quads. The push command stores the variables into an array. We are interested in labeling values which are above the box range. Array numbering start from 0 and the line numbers start from 1. Hence, I have used 19 and 21 instead of 20 and 22 to calculate upper box limit. Next, we will filter out outliers and write them to a file. Here, we are opening the input data file. A while loop is used to read the lines of the input data file. Let's delete the new line character at the end of the line with chomp command. This if command allows blank and lines starting with hash to be ignored. Now split the line with the tab delimiter. I will also define an array for each line in the input file. Define a new file name with the suffix label to save the outlier data. Open the file to write the values with the open command. Make sure to open the file in append mode to write all the outlier data points. Open an if loop to test if the y value is greater than the box upper limit. If the Y value is higher, write the data to the out file with the print command. Close the if loop braces. 
to print the lower outliers, the condition has to be added in the if statement. I will not print the outliers below the lower box limit here. Close the while loop and close the for each loop. Do not forget to clear the array before reading each new statistics file. Go to the line before opening the statistics files as seen on the screen. Start a new line. Enter the commands as seen to clear the three arrays. Now pipe to GNU plot again to generate the box plots and outlier labels. I will set the terminal to SVG format. Specify a file name for the output file as seen. Set the font style to times and also the size. Specify the XTX label with the file name at 1, 2 and 3. Set the plot style to box plot. I will set X axis range from 0 to 4. Issue the plot command to plot the box plot style data for the three input files. Add the labels using the newly generated files in the plot command. The three input files and the three outlier files are plotted here. This part of the command adds the labels from the outlier file. The offset gives a gap between the symbol and the label. This increases the clarity in the output file. Close the program with the following command. Save the file and go back to the terminal. Type the command as seen here to run the Perl script. Here, type ls to list the files that are in the directory. A new SVG type image file for the graph is generated. Since the path is desktop, the output file is generated in the desktop directory. Open the SVG file and view the output. You may modify the script to generate the choice of graph. I will close the output SVG file. You may use C, Java, Python or another language of your choice to program. If so, write the program accordingly. You may also use datasets of your choice. Now let's summarize. In this tutorial, we generated statistical summary from GNU plot using Perl script. Data files containing only outlier data points in box plot plotted multiple box plots in a graphical window. Specified the position of each box plot on x-axis. Labeled the outliers in the box plot. For assignment activity, please do the following. Three files are provided in the code files link for assignment. Using the files, generate box plot and label the outliers in the graph. Modify the script to incorporate the correct file names. Your assignment may look similar to this. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Post your timed queries in the forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.